Welcome back. A local three-year-old boy is getting a lot of attention after modeling in a national ad for Kohl's. He's got such a great personality and he's, of course, a total ham. Target and Toys R Us are also featuring cute little children like Henry, born with special needs. Her daughter died while waiting for a controversial treatment. And now a Burlington mother has become the voice of parents running out of hope and out of time. And the I-team was there as she took her fight to save other children to Washington, D.C. Courtney Garris joins us now with more. Courtney. Steve, I've been following Lydia Schaefer's story for more than a year now. She had a rare form of epilepsy and died in 2014. Now her mom continues to fight for other children who don't have access to a treatment that could have saved Lydia's life. I think of her all the time and I think she's with me all the time and I hope she's proud. Sally Schaefer is living out her daughter's legacy. I'm confident in telling her story and confident about what I believe in. That confidence brought this Wisconsin mom to the nation's capital for a grueling two day schedule packed full of meetings. Hey, how are you? From Texas to New Jersey to Georgia, sharing Lydia's story and asking lawmakers to help save other children. Although she's not here to take care of anymore, at least me doing something can help take care of others. We followed Sally and a group of mothers and grandmothers from across the country lobbying for access to this, a therapeutic hemp oil known as CBD. The oil is extracted from the marijuana plant but contains only a trace of THC, so it doesn't produce a high. It's used in some states to treat seizure disorders, but CBD is a Schedule One drug like heroin, which makes it illegal in most states. The Research shows that it's non-toxic. You cannot die from an overdose. Paige Figgy is from Colorado. Her daughter, Charlotte, made national news after CBD oil saved her life. We were literally picking out headstones, signing do not resuscitate. Um, I didn't have hope. Charlotte was seizing every 30 minutes around the clock and nothing could stop them. <laughs> Paige had access to CBD oil in her home state because of Colorado's marijuana laws. After four years on the oil, Charlotte is thriving. <laughs> it was uh, shocking to see the transformation with Charlotte. Shocking. She is now almost seizure free and off all pharmaceutical meds. People found hope in Charlotte's story, including Sally. <laughs> Her daughter's seizures happened mostly while she slept. Lydia's last treatment option was the oil. But it was illegal in Wisconsin, so Sally fought to change the law and won. Governor Walker signed Lydia's law in April of 2014. Less than a month later, Sally lost her daughter. Grief comes and goes all the time. Adding to that grief, the law named after her daughter isn't working. Local doctors are required to get an FDA license to prescribe the oil, an expensive and lengthy process. Now, Sally is taking her fight to the federal level. The hearts are broken every day for you and your story. Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry introduced legislation that will legalize CBD oil in the U.S. He and other members are now working to bring others on board. These kids are dependent on us. These families are depending on us. Senator Ron Johnson sat down with the group and agreed to help move the bill forward. We implore you to please help. We will, and you, you keep in the fight, too. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin also Thank supported. You. Yes, welcome. Thank you for uh, meeting with us. And willing to help. The advocacy of these mothers is amazing. Um, and I think they're really enlightening a lot of my colleagues. As the wheels of the political process continue to turn, Sally reminds lawmakers families are running out of time. I don't want anyone else having to be in these shoes, having to miss their child as much as I do. Congressman Paul Ryan signed onto the bill before he became House Speaker, and having his support is huge in all of this. This trip also helped sway Wisconsin Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner. After his staff met with Sally, Sensenbrenner went from waiting on FDA trials to actually wow. co-sponsoring the bill. And there is actually a hearing mm. next week in Madison on Lydia's Law. Sally State Senator still trying to make that local law work. You've got to admire her courage and her willingness to fight. She has a lot fight. of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Courtney, thank you very Great much. Great story.